Hey guys, Drifter here, welcome to Black Ops 3 in Depth. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the Razorback post-buff, because I feel that after the huge submachine gun buff, the Razorback is actually now one of the better SMGs in Black Ops 3, and that kind of pains me to say it, because throughout the life cycle of this game, this has been my overall least favorite SMG, and I've probably put the least amount of time into it. However, after the recent buff, I was looking at the stats, and I noticed something kind of funny about the Razorback that I'm going to logically work through today, and kind of explain to you why I like the weapon now. So in case you live under a rock or haven't heard, patch 1.09 completely rebalanced the submachine gun class in Black Ops 3, and this news is two or three weeks old now. I was traveling at the time, but I think T. Martin did a big video on it. He called his the biggest buff ever, because almost every single submachine gun got a buff in some capacity, recoil, faster ADS time, or something like that. But most notably, they removed the uh, movement speed penalty when firing for all the submachine guns. So none of the submachine guns have a movement penalty when firing because previously some machine guns like every weapon in Black Ops 3 would slow down when you were aimed down sights and moving it would kind of delay your movement speed so you couldn't strafe move and peek around corners and stuff like you could in Black Ops 2 you can really feel this effect on say a light machine gun when you start firing and try to strafe because it locks you down however some machine guns have that completely removed so they now have no movement penalty whatsoever when firing and it makes all of them significantly more dangerous and several of them actually got aim down sight speed buffs which is actually kind of a nerf to the Razorback because previously the Razorback was one of the fastest ADSing, fastest reacting SMGs in the class. However, that's not all that happened. When you take a look at the stats right now, when you compare all the SMGs after the buff, after the jumble, rebalance, whatever, the Razorback has a faster aim down sights and movement speed than the CUDA, VMP, and Weevil, and it's got better range than all of them. So it's now a very fast handling submachine gun. It kind of always was, but it never really had the DPS or range to back up with it. But now it's got that fast handling and no strafe movement penalty, so that's very nice, and it kind of outperforms the other long-range submachine guns. But not only is it fast compared to those, but it's in the fastest tier of ADS and sprint out times for all of submachine guns. There are some submachine guns that are tied with this one in overall handling statistics, but the Razorback is top tier. Uh, basically, stat-wise, it aim down sights in 200 milliseconds, and you can sprint out in 250 milliseconds, which is actually probably one of the fastest reaction or handling times for any fully automatic weapon in the game, which is very, very good. We already know the Razorback has the lowest recoil of the SMGs. Maybe de debatably the Pharah, but that one kind of sprays a little bit, or it's a little bit wonky. The Razorback is very low recoil, very accurate, and very, very easy to use. However, the final fact that we need to throw out today is the Razorback also got a range buff in this big uh, mega update. Now, a lot of people were really focused on the ADS time and the HG40 and all that kind of stuff, but they seem to notice that the four shot, they seem to not notice anyway, that the four shot kill range of the Razorback got bumped up all the way to 32 meters, which is colossal. That's like assault rifle range. That's like light machine gun range. That's long shot range. The four shot kill range on this SMG, which is extremely long, which means it's going to have an extremely consistent time to kill over all sorts of ranges, and it can reasonably outgun or at least outhandle several of the assault rifles in the game. So the Razorback is now a top tier submachine gun when it comes to handling, recoil, and range. So what that means for you at home playing it is that it's a very easy to use submachine gun despite having overall slow time to kill or DPS. Now, yeah, the damage is low and the rate of fire is still low, but every other statistic is pretty awesome and the other statistics are the ones that make the guns super easy to use. This is now like the ACR of submachine guns. It's incredibly easy to use. Anybody can pick it up and do it. Anybody that's even bad at Black Ops 3 or Potatoes, which I've been saying recently, Potatoes can pick this gun up and play with it just fine, no problems whatsoever, and it's overall very versatile too. It works in a lot of different scenarios, a lot of different situations. That sort of range consistency gives it a very good feel, and I've kind of taken a shine to it. I think it's a much better weapon than it used to be. It used to be a very frustrating weapon to use, but now it has an overall good performance, or at least I understand its performance. I can pick it up now and say to myself, you know what, this might not be the fastest killing gun in the game, but it is really fast handling, and it does have really excellent range and I have no issues aiming it whatsoever. You'll even see in some of the gameplays I get so brazen as to actually go for headshots without high caliber. Not that that's on submachine guns, but we 
know the headshots aren't super useful anyway. As for how I would recommend using it, I actually go a little bit attachment heavy. I really like optics on this submachine gun because the iron sights still blow. No update on that one. Quick draw and stock, I feel, are kind of essential because that boosts the aim down sights time and the strafing speed, which are some of its better attributes now. Also run fast hands as well, so you can sprint out faster. So you can get crazy fast reaction time with this submachine gun. You can peek around corners, you can strafe, you can shoot, you can juke, you can jive. You're going to overall feel very, very fast with the Razorback with these two. And because it has low DPS and that sort of thing, I do run fast mags because I have a tendency to spray a lot. I like being able to reload really fast and jumping back into action. Running something like extended mags is also okay if that's your preference, but me personally, I'm just, I'm all about fast mags in this game. It's also surprisingly okay with a silencer and or rapid fire. The range is so awesome that the silencer doesn't hurt it that badly, and if you're running a silencer, you don't really need optics because it reduces the muzzle flash and you can use the somewhat awkward iron sights pretty well at long ranges, I'd just a personal preference of mine. And if you really hate the slow time to kill, low DPS or whatever, rapid fire is a decent attachment. I personally don't feel that it's worth it on a lot of weapons in this game, but it does make sense on the Razorback. That's all for this short update video. I hope that you guys try out the new Razorback. It's overall a much better submachine gun now, and I have a lot more fun using it. The previous episode was on COD points versus crypto keys, and the next one we're going to be reviewing the new FAMAS FFAR variant. Drifter out. Terminate.